Hey! Oh! <laughs> oh! Chicka dicka boom, chicka dicka. Hey allihopa! Hi everyone and welcome back to another video from Sailing Swedish. I'm your host, Joakim. And today we are going to take a look at reflexive sounds. You are probably thinking right now that this sounds pretty advanced, but please don't click away. It's not that advanced as, as it sounds. Uh, it's... it... These sounds just uh, have a fancy name, like most linguistic things. Retro means back or backwards, like something is retro, it's old or older, and flex is to bend something, so you are basically constructing sounds while bending your tongue backwards and uh, touching the roof of your mouth with it. So we have a couple of um, letter combinations that create or uh, that illustrate this sound. And let's start with uh, R plus S. And um, we've got the word Ushekta, spelled with R and S. And Ushekta is uh, not pronounced Ursekta, like a 40s movie, like uh, you would hear in an old movie maybe. Ursekta, Ursekta, fröken. <laughs> you are going to pronounce R and S like sh, Ursekta. And if you're overdoing it, it sounds like you are from, from uh, the northern part of Sweden. Ursekta. <laughs> but you are not, just Ursäkta. And if you are uncertain uh, on how to do this, you can just uh, just make the same sound like uh, in shoe. Uh, shoe. It's uh, like um, it's the same sound, but you don't bend your tongue back, and thus you you don't create this kind of canvas or sail in front of your mouth that makes the sh sound a bit thicker. You are just going... I mean, if you speak quickly, you could just say Ushekta and I promise you, no one will hear a difference uh, in a normal day-to-day -day conversation. So, no problem there. All these sounds, they aren't just created inside of words, but also in combination of words. So, when you have uh, a word ending on an R, and uh, uh, the next word is beginning with uh, an S, then you can have... This sound is also used. Uh, for uh, As an example, we can use Jag sjunger sånger. I sing songs. Jag sjunger, so jag sjunger, jag sjunger sånger. Jag sjunger sånger. Jag sjunger sånger. Can you hear the difference? Jag sjunger sånger. Uh, would also uh, kind of work, because uh, we don't have this like uh, a, a very a very harsh rolling r like in in latin or roman uh, languages just disappears a bit uh, you can hear that in my videos on how to roll an r and uh, in swedish we just have like it's it depends on uh, from where you are and um, it's also very individual but we don't we don't roll them and uh, it's the the R is basically mute there so um, yeah it's okay but this sound this retroflex sound could also be an option here so in dialects like Smolenska like in Småland they have almost no R so um, it, it depends on where again, but uh, in certain dialects you won't hear, you won't hear this like in Skåne as well, you, you, they have a R, so yeah, you, you won't uh, hear this uh, particular sound. Then we have R plus D, so it's not a D, D, D sound, but a D, 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 D. Uh, the, the, the tongue is bent backwards a bit. Uh, and uh, a D and a T, uh, they are dental sounds, so they are created with uh, when you tap your tongue against your teeth. D, D, T, T. But in this case, you, the tongue is touching the roof of your mouth instead, so you have D, 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 T, T, T. So R plus D. 
you will hear the difference in it will make a, a huge difference if you are making an effort or if you are murdering someone. Let's take a look at those examples. We've got mörda, which is uh, to make an effort, or uh, effort, like a, a noun. Effort, mörda, something is a lot of work. Mörda. And then we've got mörda, which uh, means to murder. Uh, and uh, you will also hear the difference because the ö uh, sound or sounds in this case they are uh, they are different because uh, the ö uh, is also uh, like with the ä the ä is also created differently or sounds differently in front of an r this rule also applies to the retroflex sounds because they are written with an r so we have mörda ö uh, and mörda ö ö ö ö ö so so there is a slight difference there difference uh, and then we have r plus t and it's uh, the same thing applies here a t is uh, related to a d so it's uh, it sounds kind of it's uh, created uh, similarly uh, as the the r plus d so you have t, t, a regular t, t and t, 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 with the tongue bent backwards. So let's take an example. Uh, for instance, lut is created with these, uh, or this uh, retroflex sound, lut, lut. And if you were going, let's say you, you, we dropped the R and we are from Småland right now, we would say lut. Lut without an R, and then thus uh, we won't have this retroflex sound at all. Lut, lut, lut. Can you hear the difference? Lut with retroflex and lut without an R entirely. And uh, yeah, if I were going to pronounce this with an R, with a distinct, with an with a <laughs> distinct R, then it would sound like lurt, lurt. And uh, the T would be uh, a regular, uh, regular T. So, hopefully you get wor what I'm saying right now. It's a bit uh, tricky to uh, do these sounds. Yeah, whatever. Let's move on to the two remaining uh, variants or uh, letter combinations that make up a retroflex sound. So let's uh, talk about R plus N. N. Uh, a regular N is N, N, and a retroflex N would be N, N. So the tongue is a bit higher up, bent backwards. You know the drill. Uh, and let's take an example. We have the word or the name Moana. Moana with a regular N. Moana without an R. And then we have the uh, word for mornings. Mornar, mornar. So there, you, in the middle of the word, you won't hear an R, but you the N is modified. Let's hear it again. Mona, the name. Mona, and with an R, mornings. Mor, mornar, mor, mornar, 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 mornar. And to demonstrate, let's just drop the R in mornings, and we have. Månar, 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 månar. It sounds a bit off. If your Swedish is good already, then you can start to, to uh, you know, to tweak your pronunciation and do these kind of uh, things. It's really not that important to focus on this right now. But if you're Swedish, if you're fluent already and you want to tweak your, your pronunciation and if you are that kind of person that just want to focus a lot on uh, pronunciation, go ahead, be my guest, try to uh, to practice it. But it's not that important, so don't don't uh, don't sweat it. And to finish, let's go for R plus L, and this one is the most toughest one to hear. I can barely <laughs> hear the difference myself. But here goes. We have the word call, which means bear, uh, like we use it for a forest that has been uh, cut down. 
we say call, 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 call. And then we have the name Carl. <laughs> In Swedish, it's call, call, call. And then bear, call, and the name call, 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 call. The tongue, the tip of my tongue ends up in different places, but it's really not that easy to hear the difference and thus it's not that important at all for you to, uh, to learn this. You should at some point maybe practice it, but in the beginning it's really not important. Uh, you might sound very fluent without this. So Swedish, that was everything that I had for you today. I hope that you learned something. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. <laughs> Feel free to leave a comment with your best tips on how to make these sounds, if you can hear a difference, if you need help, if you can make these sounds already, I would like to know. And if you want more pronunciation lessons, stop by SaidInSwedish.com. Link is in the description directly to the pronunciation lessons. And uh, if you want to learn more Swedish, stop by saying <laughs> say it in Swedish as well. And uh, please share this video with others that are learning Swedish. And talk to me in the comment section and on, on social media and uh, everything. And please watch another video <laughs> and we'll, we'll, we will see each other in another video. Hey, though.